as we're all getting used to these Zoom meetings and as fall semester is coming up with all these fall classes, we are becoming Zoom pros. So I wanna give a quick update. Just recently, this week, Zoom came up with an update. Uh, 5.2, I'll include the link down in the description so you can download yourself. It's free as long as you have Zoom already. And there's some cool updates, some interesting updates. We'll, we'll run through what updates you can now do on Zoom. Don't you wish that Zoom was more like Snapchat and you could have crazy filters and make yourself look like a bunny rabbit and a dog and all kinds of other things? Well, I didn't ask for that, but someone asked for that. And now you can. So if you go down here, go to your settings. And there's a new area of backgrounds and filters. Regularly, you have your backgrounds that you always use. There's this new tab, video filters. And you can try these out. There's these different filters in your background that you can try. Um, you can also have all of these little add-ons. I don't know. You can have a little cra uh, party hat or this thing graduation cap, which may have been useful for all of this uh, past uh, fall graduations. So right here, if you want to try out your Snapchat filters on Zoom, they're right now available. But let's say you don't want any of this, but you do want yourself to just look better, right? You want to look better, turn off these backgrounds and filters. If you go to video, there's some new options here. So uh, the new one is this adjust for low light. So you can click that. That's a new option. I really think that's a, one of the best options that they really added in this update with this adjust for low light. Um, I have it auto. You can do it manual as well. It gives you the slider that you can do manually. Probably just hit auto for the most of us. Also, this is not new for the update, but if you're not aware, enable HD and touch up my appearance is old features, but what's new in the touch up my appearance is a scale now. So it basically... Uh, evens out your face and whatnot so trying to make you look better um on zoom so video is obviously very important but audio is even more important so if you go over to the audio settings right here there's suppressed background noise now i have it on auto right now but if you have dogs in the background things going on in the background you may want to bump this up even higher you can go low medium high or keep it on auto like i have something to keep in mind if you constantly have background noise and finally, there are new reactions. There are a couple new reactions. So if we go down to reactions, there's the heart. And there is this like, confetti looking guy. Um, these good additions, this is something that I've been calling for that I have actually a hack for, for engagement. These are, I think, just tough to, to use. And I don't, as far as actually usability of these reactions, I think there's opportunities here for Zoom to uh, engage a little better, perhaps like an Instagram style of when Instagram Live is going on, you can hit the heart a bunch of times and it fills up your screen, something like that. I've done something kind of similar to that, but in a different direction using the chat feature that I go in a, in a, previous, in a previous video. So those are the features of the updated Zoom 5.2 update. Uh, I'll include the link below so you can download, you can try out all of these for free on your new Zoom meeting or Zoom class. If you're interested, I have a Zoom class that I update over time with every update and how to set up your uh, setup for Zooming, how to use pro tips for Zoom, whether that be meetings or for class. I'll include that link in the description as well. We'll see you next time.